And hello again, folks. It is I, Kamikaze, here to bring you another episode of Dongen Rongpa. Uh, we're going to find out what I can do. What should I do? What should I... The mastermind's trap? The victim was Mukuro? And Kyoko killed her? What does Kyoko really know? What am I supposed to do? Kyoko's lie. I'm the only one who, who knows it's a lie. I'm the only one who can expose it. But who can I trust? What am I supposed to do? The mastermind's trap. <laughs> do I have to decide right here and now whether or not to expose Kyoko's lie it's actually giving me a choice here can I I can't save I should have saved earlier <laughs> I don't want to have a complete cho okay let's see uh, run away no running away isn't gonna solve anything decide right here and right now uh, let it go Oh, I guess maybe I would have had two decisions. I have to believe in Kyoko. There's no way she would kill someone. There has to be some secret here. Something that has to do with the mastermind's trap that Kyoko mentioned. Why would it give me a choice there? I'm trying to figure that out. Could I actually have chosen to, uh, you know, let her lie? But no, it wouldn't have let me do that. Because then if it let me do that, then that would have ended the game. Because then we all would have died, probably. But now if I do this, maybe it's going to let us die anyway. Because maybe she was the murderer. And if she was the murderer, then we're all screwed. Well, does no one have a rebuttal? Have you decided to accept her assertion as fact? I see. So you still refuse to accept it. I suppose we have to admit that Kyoko didn't put the locker key in her room. That it was someone else. But who else could it have been? I mean, Byakuya had a room key, right? You! What are you trying to imply? But of course, I have an alibi. From nighttime on, I was with you guys the entire time. Because it was prepped beforehand. I couldn't possibly have killed but anyone be, yeah. or put the key in Kyoko's room. It is not his time. Well, someone had to put the key in there. There's only one other possibility I can think of. Someone could have had the key on them, then once they arrived at the scene, pretended to find it there. Wait, what? It, it had to be Makoto, what? right? Oh, shiitake mushrooms. I don't see any other option. No, someone could have dropped it there, and then I ended up finding it. It's not me. Wait a second. You've got it all wrong. Let's think about it one more time. There's got to be a hidden side to this case. Huh? A hidden side? First of all, there's something off about this entire trial. Yeah. You all see it, don't you? Mukuro, who we didn't even know existed, suddenly shows up dead, and then we're thrown into a trial. Exactly. And Kyoko even said, it's a trap the Mastermind set for us. So that's why this has to be... Okay, time's up! What? What do you mean, time's up? There's been no times up in the past. What the hell are you talking about? No, 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 you can't do this. Huh? Time's up. Class trial's all over. Everyone can stop talking now. Oh, you're kidding me. What? Time's up? I don't remember making that face before. What do you mean time's up? There's no time's up. Since when have we... Exactly. It's because you were late, so we had to push back the start time. We've never had a freaking time limit, ever. So then, it's time for voting time, okay? Everyone, please vote using the lever in front of you. They say lever, and I don't remember any kind of lever at all. Voting time? How is this the end?
I don't care about the coins. Not this moment. Now, anymore. who will be chosen as the blackened? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? Hey, hold on. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? This is really messed up. What? No! No, no, no! Oh, you're kidding me! Is there multiple endings to this game? Did I just screw up royally? Am I boned? What? You think I'm the killer? Sorry. I didn't even get to choose. I didn't get a vote. <laughs> Everyone, you're wrong! You got it all wrong! I didn't do it! Yes, indeed! Good job! Yep! What?! What?! No! I know that's not true! None of this makes any sense! This whole trial doesn't make any sense! Hey! Shing! What? This is not right! How? I am playing me! I am me! How in the hell did I kill anyone? Unless I slept killed someone. Thrills! Chills! Kills! Oh, you're crapping me. Wait, why do I? Kyoko! I don't expect you to forgive me. I know this is all my fault. So she did do it? Kyoko? Let's give it everything we've got! It's punishment time! She, well, how? Uh, then, if they know it's her or someone else, then how could it be me? No! This is not right! What the hell? system. Oh, give me a heart attack. Mama? Yeah, how am I seeing this? Because I'm not even here. Um. Uh, um. Th this is. See, you have to trust Alter Ego. It would seem hmm. What the heck? In other words, Because if alter egos in your system, I think we have. What? What? Yeah! Ew. Not really. Why? I still don't understand. Why do you want despair? <laughs> uh, um. <laughs> Calm down. Huh? In other words. How do you know this? What what did you say? So Why don't you explain now? Well, find me, then explain so I can actually hear you. The massive high school towers over all other buildings in this bustling urban area. It's like the school stands at the center of the entire world. Hope's Peak Academy. The 
brings the top students from every field imaginable, and am I reading this all over again? They say that you come here and manage to graduate, you'll be set for life. With hundreds of years of tradition, it sends the cream of the crop into the workforce every year. It was built to raise hope in the nation's future, which makes Hope's Peak a pretty fitting name. Now why the hell am I doing this all over again? But something is definitely messed up here, so I don't need to read this unless I have lost my brain power. Concussions caused me brain smart. Okay. Unless I broke the game, but I doubt that much. What? Where am I? I woke up with my head resting on top of a hard wooden desk. My body felt heavy. It wouldn't be weird for me to zonk off in the middle of some boring class or whatever, but what was I doing asleep here just now? I wasn't. It wasn't any classroom I'd ever been in before. What the heck is going on? Finally. I could finally feel my mind and body start to come back together again, and then I was awake. Or was this just another dream? A dream inside a hopeless nightmare. Wait, do I have a key for that up there? No, she had a key. Is this isn't a dream. I could tell because the stench invading my nostrils was too powerful for a dream. How's that Monokuma thing over there? What an awful smell. In a vast dark cavern with the barest hint of light seeping in, trash was piled high across the area. This used to be some kind of underground garbage pit. Looks more like just a junkyard. I don't see any food or rotting corpses or anything of the sort. It's a heck of a situation to find myself in. But that wasn't the beginning of my problems. Was I going to be stuck in there till I wasted away and died? No, I can't let that happen. Not after my, what my good friend went through to save me. I remembered all too well what had happened. Alter Ego saved me. He used up the last little bit of his strength to do it. So I can't give up now. For myself and for my friend. And with that, my pursuit of survival began. First up was to start looking for a way out of here. This is this is definitely messed up. That's a rocket and a tank. I better not think too much about what I'm seeing down here. It's locked. No matter how many times I pushed or pulled and kicked at it, it didn't budge. Getting out of here isn't going to be easy. Well, if I'm not getting out of here anytime soon, I decide to look around for some food. There's plenty of food here, but it's all rotten. Now that was pointless, too. Next, I search for some water. How can I be sure which liquids I can drink and which ones are an all around bad idea? Again, pointless. I feel like I'm blocked in on all sides. But that's still not enough reason to give up, because because I'm still alive. As long as I'm alive, I'll never give up. After making that proud declaration, the next thing I decided to do was go to sleep. My sleep was deep and uninterrupted. That was my only way to preserve what little strength I had left after not being able to eat or drink. I can't be sure, but I think at least a full day had to have passed, and all I did was sleep and sleep. It was like I was waiting for some kind of sign to come falling out of the sky. However, what fell from the sky wasn't a sign. Not exactly. Got crunch. What the? The strange sound pierced my silent isolation, jarring me awake. As I watched the pile of garbage jostled and formed into an odd shape, 
Did something fall down over there? Something fell from up above. What could it have been? Did a giant piece of trash just fall down here? I carefully stretched my hand out towards whatever it was that had tumbled down here with me. Just a second. Oh! <laughs> Before she even emerged from the pile of garbage, I knew who it was. <laughs> it smells... awful. Well, your new hair accessory is absolutely fantastic. Kyoko! Indeed. What are you doing here? So... I'm glad to hear that, Kyoko. Um, you've got a bit of garbage in your hair. She gave her head a quick, sharp shake to get rid of the trash, then faced me again. Hey. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I snatched the bread and water that she was holding out for me. Within seconds, it was in my mouth and making its way toward my stomach. Whew, that really hit the spot. Now I've got all the energy I need to keep going. <laughs> nope, of course not. After all, the fact that I can keep going forward is all I'm good at. Hmm? But Kyoko, why'd you come to rescue me? So... What? A tone? You... I did not. So you knew that I knew. Indeed. I... Well, you had a purpose. I just didn't understand what the purpose is until, well, you came down in a garbage bag. Don't say that, you didn't abandon me. So did you kill that person is my question. However... Why did you have to survive? It's true. In other words... What is that? So you have some reason for coming to Hope's Peak? Indeed. Once? I... You forgot, but that's... Then, is it really true? You lost your memory? Makoto. First thing. You're talking about when we fainted, right? I fainted and when I woke up I was trapped here. That's right. It would seem... So what is your ultimate ability? But what would you make you forget all that? Hey. Are you saying you think you lost your memory because... Indeed. But why would they want to do that? So the mastermind just stole them from you? Then why'd they even bring you here? Could have replaced you with some other ultimate. However... But if what you say is true, why didn't you ask the rest of us to help you? Why is that? Never thought about that. Maybe I did, I don't remember. What? Correct. Maybe you're the mastermind. No, I'm kidding. You're gonna come down here and give me food. The mastermind is one of us. Or the mastermind one of us. If she believed that, then of course she wouldn't trust anyone around her. 
in which case it only makes sense that she would have to look back into her missing memory by herself. However... Well, why trust me? <laughs> Your intuition was right, though. There's no way an ordinary kid like me could have been the mastermind. I... I understand. Understand. Oh, fine. I won't talk. I should... understand everything. My goal isn't to get out of here. It's... to stay here. The dream I had before. Why did that hap just happen? Listen. Oh well, yeah, it, it's nothing. It is nothing, right? Hey. Correct. Honestly, I, I was convinced. I think that... I think it, that's just her personality. Well, if you have the key, I'm pretty sure you do. But it, we just did! You said you had a reason for doing all the investigating on your own. So, how did that turn out? Were you able to remember anything? So... Finally, find out. I the ultimate detective. Why does that seem familiar? Funny if I said that, I, I probably didn't, but still. <laughs> the ultimate detective? Correct. And it was me, right? You had to find me. So... Headmaster? Why did you want to find the headmaster? What? 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 In other words... Kyoko's dad. Is Hopeeks a headmaster? Then that explains why Alter Ego told us how he thought the headmaster was involved. I. Huh? I. No matter what? So, um. I. Makes sense. However, then what did you see in there? So you mean mastermind, right? It's true. But why there? Is this some kind of map? Indeed.
correct. So, you went there to see if the headmaster really did have a private room there? However... So what was it like? That part of the school, I mean. I... What? How could it be more horrific than what we've experienced so far? What do you mean? So... It sounds like it must be important. And really ominous. I need to talk to her again? However... It has to do with Mukuro and Kusaba, doesn't it? However... Okay, so she didn't kill her. Someone else did and planned this. I know you're right, but that just means everyone but you and me had an alibi. So then who did kill her? Anyway... So... That's how it ended up being pointed to you, and then... But how did it get pointed to me, really? Get you killed? Indeed. Correct. It was? You mean because of the school regulations? That's right. In other words... But then why did they kill Ikusaba? The Mastermind couldn't step in because of the rules. That makes it sound like the Mastermind themselves is somehow bound by the school regulations. Hey! What's that? What? What? Oh, that mean when you saved me? I could have become the victim? Indeed. Do you mean... During the night? I... Wait, what? Anyway... Correct. Hiya! However... Which they say is Ikusaba, but there's no proof. Correct. So this all would mean that whoever killed Mukuro is also the mastermind, right? Indeed. But that's really bad if true. It, it means the Mastermind can kill whoever they want if they feel like it. Wait, but doesn't that create another contradiction? The Mastermind wanted to use the class trial to try and kill you because they couldn't interfere, right? It actually used cuz instead of because? Weird. Correct. So... What does it all mean? In other words... Huh? Makoto. What, do I have to go back to living and go through another trial? I mean, after this, I don't think there's gonna be any more trials. Wait, the other? Other? Not? 
indeed. You're talking about. That's right. The tragedy. Who's ever was responsible for that? They're the ultimate despair? It would seem. Then they're. Indeed. died. Still six of us left. Yeah, I'm aware it's to be continued. Thank you. Whoa, that doesn't look appropriate. What the hell is that? Oh, Dream Island Rocket present. I'm going to save the data, and I'm also going to call the episode here. If you folks had fun, please remember to like, subscribe, comment, do all the fun things, and tell me how messed up this is. It would help a lot.